So long, Leif. Thanks for not killing us this time. Okay, we could probably do better than that right here. Okay, okay, I'll take that. All right, one meter per second. Uh, I'm using RCS. Why does it seem like we're going away? No. That's not doing what you said I would do if I pointed at this node and did this burn right now. It's still making the sound. It's still making the sound! I'm not touching anything. It was making the maneuver on its own. Oh! it's It depends on how I move my mouse. What? Stop following my mouse! Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, we're going back to Space Center. It's, it's stuck, it's even right now, you can hear the maneuver node modification sound. Even now, that tick, 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 tick. That's the sound associated with changing the maneuver node. Well, it's still making the sound, but it's not changing my required delta V, so okay. Maybe if I do it now, it'll be okay. Hope springs eternal. Okay, yeah. Readjusting this node. Stop that sound. Okay, so hopefully this one will work out right. Let's go over to that in a little less than a year. Our space plane continues to try to come back from Lathe. Oh, I'll take that. That's fine. Okay, on to Kerbin. We'll just adjust that when we get there, and then we will try to capture. We've got 1,000 meters per second. Let's see if we can make it. Maybe I should have taken that rover all over to Paul before doing all this, but anyway, we'll do that after this. Left it in orbit around Bop. It's been sitting there for quite a while. Okay. Real in. Okay, so now we've got a two kilometer periapsis and until we did all the corrections we couldn't even check how much it would cost to capture into orbit, but let's do that now. Oh no! It says we don't have enough. Okay, so we've got a problem. This doesn't have enough fuel to capture, but we're here. Of course, until we did the mid-course correction, we couldn't plot that to check that. So, and we're about as close to Kerbin as we can get. We're not going to get any more help. We're going to need to send something out to rendezvous with this to give it fuel or grab it. Probably the better idea is to give it fuel. It just needs to be hydrogen, so it's fairly light. I'm pretty sure that trying to aero capture is going to definitely exceed the heat tolerance of this. But okay, we might as well test that. We might as well test that it will die if I try to aero capture. Fine. Boy, if it doesn't die if we try to aero capture, that's gonna make Leif look really bad, huh? Let's keep it light. Uh, 42 sounds like a good number. 4,400, it's, it's getting fast here. Okay, uh, flame effects. So it's hydrogen tanks. The wings will be fine, it's just the hydrogen tanks can't deal with a whole lot. Oh, there we go. Oh, bye. Take it back. The wing also started overheating. Okay, well, so as expected, and we weren't slowing down very fast, uh, very fast, <laughs> we weren't slowing down very much. Uh, let's see how the pod slows down. Don't worry, we are reverting here. Well, it wasn't capturing, so let's not do that. 
Uh, let's load that save and send up a rescue mission. I knew that would happen, but, you know, it's always good to check. That's what science is all about. You can't be all like, well, I think it's this way, so therefore I'm not going to experiment. You must do the experiment. Because the universe has a way of being unexpected. I'm gonna try and keep this simple. Let's see, doc, uh, let's just have a controller before I forget it. And let's have an RCS tank because we know need we need to dock. Those adapters are probably heavier than they ought to be. Let's just leave that be. And then hydrogen. I mean, we have to deliver hydrogen, so we might as well make a hydrogen rocket. It says even on Kerbin, this has a 1.82 thrust weight ratio. Atmosphere to 0.4, so we can't do that. We'll need boosters. I mean, that's got to be enough to actually rendezvous with it, right? There's no way we could be falling short, right? Uh, anyway. This decisive... I think the core probably can communicate within Kerbin SOI, but we can slap one of these on just for good measure. And Clydesdales, always Clydesdales because they have gimbling. I think they'll be all right without Separatrons. Oh, we need more EC. We've got 7.5 units. Why do they have a control core with only 7.5? I mean, seriously, who does that? One out of 0.6 tons. How long is it gonna take for- it's only one day to periapsis, so we can't wait. We're going to need to get into orbit and then correct the inclination. Ugh. Anyway, that's just how it's gonna be, but we have to go that away for sure. So we'll just go straight west. That's actually easy. it's easier to do this intercept with Earth because uh, something entering Earth SOI still has a few days before it reaches periapsis. So we can actually wait until we're directly under the orbit of the thing entering Earth's SOI in order to intercept it. But, but of course this is coming back from Jewel, so it is coming back very fast. Anyway. Hey. Off we go. I thought for sure we had control over this. These boosters do have gimbal. But I don't seem to be able to turn. Hold on. Um, yeah, I, I, I wasn't able to turn, so I'm wondering what's up with that. About even if, well, even here, WASND isn't affecting the controls. So, I'm gonna recover, roll back to the VAB. I think I've gotta restart. I don't know what else to do. Okay, it seems like they're doing things pitch yawn roll, I mean. Um, yeah. As imprecise as it is being binary, but... Alright. Let's try this. Well, we'll set it as our target and then try this. Okay, okay now we can go. Well, don't go too fast though. Yes, we're going over land. What do you mean you can't do retrograde orbits from the space center? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Ah, no, 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 no. I need fins. Okay, hold there, hold there. That's good. No, no. No, okay, I shouldn't have gone away from prograde. I'll take it. Okay. 
Okay. Don't hurt anything. Now the problem is we have to try to intercept it before it reaches periapsis. says we can intercept it over there. I don't know how much Delta V it would take, though. And that's looking like our inclination would be fixed up. But you see, I've done two maneuvers. I have no idea how much this maneuver is actually going to take. I know this one takes 751. But this one, who knows. So... Let's just focus on this one first. At least we have 11,000. This is an arbitrary burn, really. Again, we want to intercept it higher up. And also be able to change our inclination higher up. Okay, so it says descending node there, but I logically feel like the ascending node must be there then. There. Okay, so we sort of saw the descending node go into it, and there's a 1A there, but there's no 1B. The 1B is over there, so that's too late. Okay, 1B is now over there. Okay. I do need some time before we hit periapsis, though, so... Okay, we'll probably do another burn after this in order to fix it up a little bit better. Let's just do this first. It's super touchy. Okay, well, I'm going to do an adjustment up there. Okay, I'll take that. Within 2 kilometers, 2,600 there, 24 there, alright. Sorry for all these maneuvers, but this is a dicey business trying to intercept a space plane on the way in like this. Just watch, I, I totally miss it for some reason. Funny. But now we have to have the time to burn off 2,633 meters per second. No, no, no! Still show it, please! Okay, well, that seems like we're meeting up with it way too late now. No, this is a bad thing. Okay, let me just... I've done this wrong. Now, where can we pick up from? Let's see what this situation is here. Okay, so we're here with this 5 meter per second correction. We're just gonna pick it up from here and... Okay... Now... Retro. Or matching velocities. Wait a little bit longer. Wish it showed the distance over here. Okay, but we really need to get closer sooner. Okay, 7.2 kilometers. Okay. Now we're in business. Okay, uh, just point at the target for now. Target. And you, why are you rolling all over the place? It's very undisciplined. How much tolerance is it going to give me with its weird docking situation these days? Oh, okay, well, good enough. All right. <laughs> it boinked, but it connected. Okay. Alright, resource manager time. Quickly. Alright, uh, that seems fine to me. We don't need this thing to hang out anymore. And it can use its RCS. 
So you back off. And probably to deorbit too. Well, I could if I had the patience, but we can't use RCS during time warp and <laughs> it's taking too long. I think I'm just gonna leave it be. Okay, let's just focus on this. Now we have 4,000 meters per second. Surely that's enough to not only capture but get into a low orbit around Kerbin. Well, there's the capture. We only need a little bit more for the capture. In fact, I maintain that if we didn't have to reduce our speed more than that more than should be necessary in lathe orbit because we had to cut it down to 1500 meters per second instead of the normal entry speed if we didn't have to do that we probably would have had enough here that's nice okay 2184 plenty plenty as long as it's not weirdly imbalanced for some reason okay so let's go with this burn so far, the capture burns have been pretty good as far as following this, so... Oh, we're controlling from the long, wrong place. Whoop, 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 whoop. Control from here. Well, as long as it wiggles somewhere between a maneuver node and retrograde, that's probably okay. Okay, well, we don't want to get into the atmosphere just yet. Why did I decide to get retrograde around, I mean, yeah, retrograde around Kerbin as well? Okay, that's, that's good enough for me. Okay, so, just waiting for the KSC to be in daylight. Okay, well, it's in daylight. So, we can try this. Where's the protractor? I'm not gonna try and eyeball it. 135 degrees, though we're going around the other way, so maybe that throws it off somewhat. Okay, we'll try retro burning here. Okay, so I think 23 kilometers is what I go for. Okay, so we're headed down. Hopefully on a nice trajectory, but coming in the opposite way that I normally than I normally do. Yeah, we're overshooting because the plant's rotating faster in this direction. I should have started to retro burn earlier. Whoops. And we turn around, we've got some delta V. Managed to turn around and come back. Let's see. First we have to survive. Yeah, we're overshooting badly. Uh, I'm gonna try and encourage it somewhat, but we're still very fast. We haven't blown up though, that's good. There's a whole other continent over here. But I really would like to go back. Up, not the vector I want. Turn. Oh, okay, that's too high up. Don't do that. Well, at least maybe I can land in daylight. Well, it's a bit disappointing. I was hoping to land at the KSC, but darn rotation of the planet messed me up. This bit looks bumpy. Got some jet engine propellant. Gonna try and get to less bumpy terrain. Why did they get all interested in dunes, I wonder? Haven't they seen flat deserts? <laughs> yeah. You don't get to have dunes without sandworms, how about that? Does that look nicer? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try for that. This watch, it's just not rendering the dunes over there and it turns out that they're dunes or worse. Probably. 
Okay. Well, we can certainly extend landing gear now. But, but don't go up, don't go up. You don't have enough velocity for that. Okay, brakes. Oh, 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 you hopped. Don't do that. That's a bad move, generally. Oh, you broke off the engine, you foolish gerbil. We wanted that engine. Almost got it back intact. Oh well. But anyway, the Kerbal survived. Let's let's recover vessel. Desmi came home with most of the plane. 